we men were not surprised about to find out what we found out about Derek Jackson. Let me be very clear about that. Okay, I'm gonna take 60 seconds, ladies. I'm gonna put you up on game. When, when I gotta remember my audience here. I'm from Miami, <laughs> y'all. I'm from the 305. I, I don't let this PhD fool you. There's some words that I'd be saying. Come on, give it to us. Thing. Give it. To, be Adrian um, right now. Don't be um, Doctor Carter. <laughs> so there is um um there is the game to get women right to sleep. There's this get get women game let's just call it that right i'm trying to be clean here as possible right and so men know that when a man is trying to um get other women we we know what the game is man to man right so when we see a man that's pandering we know that he's hitting you with the smooth talk so he could get to the draws okay so when when a, when a dude only does the smooth talk, well, we know what we know what he's doing. So when he's when a when a man is telling a woman what she wants to hear all the time and bop 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 and and how other men are the problem and he's willing to throw other men underneath the bus on top of that, oh, this is definitely a get booty game that you're running. So we've known that all the time, which is why men like myself and others would be like, yo, you can't listen to dude because. <clears throat> He's just straight pandering to women and women are eating it up because he's telling them what they want to hear. And that's why I say it's not just, it's women have to hold themselves accountable at the same time in the fact that for a lot of them, this is what you wanted to hear. You wanted somebody to, to, to tell you that you were the best thing since sliced bread and not hold you as accountable for your own actions because you wanted somebody to buy into you that way. So we already knew that, right? So it, it is what it is. Um, so it's not surprising at all. The, the problem is <clears throat> we understand, even as practitioners, that trying to live the life that you also practice has its own challenges, if we are to be honest, right? I'm a conflict resolution practitioner, do all of that stuff. I'm in some conflict right now trying to work out some things, right? Within my own family um, dynamics. So we, so we are held to the, to, the, to the ground of trying to know better and do better in the space while we also practice. But the thing that happened with Derek Jackson is, is not the trust that he only broke with his wife. It's the trust that he broke with the public. And I think that the way that he dealt with the matter of the public to try and sell us a book. Remember I told you this whole thing is about monetization. To try and sell us a book as the process that you and your wife went through already when, when we just not hearing about this. I, that, that to me, the audacity, right? The audacity, if that, that to me was the most debilitating part of this whole situation with him, um, it wasn't the failure in his marriage, right? Um, between the two of them. And, and as the stories go, he's been doing this for 13 years, right? Like this is not even new to his wife. So, um, so I don't, I don't hold him to the esteem that I think other women have held him because his message was never balanced then he then that told me he was never a balanced individual. 